Hello, welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Um, I'm here today to do a semi follow-up to my last video. Um, the last video I talked to you about a trip I made um, to Chesapeake, Virginia to go to an estate sale where I saw online that they had a sewing machine and a sewing box and I really didn't have a lot to do that Saturday. It was the third day, everything was 50% off, and I ended up with a sewing box. And last video, I went through the sewing box. On the way back from that estate sale, I passed a disabled American veterans thrift store. I was still in, I don't really know where I was. I was totally dependent upon my phone for directions, but I was still in Virginia. And um, it was a freestanding DAV, which is a little bit unusual. A lot of times they're a part of a strip, uh, but this was freestanding and it was so nice. I was so impressed when I went inside. Um, it was really clean and the items they had were truly um, quality items. Um, and I didn't even head for the <clears throat> fabric area. First, I got caught up in the some of the glassware, um, and I did buy one thing, um, I, and I'll try to to show you what I bought. Um, but in total, I spent forty two dollars and seventy two cents. This is my receipt right here, and um, I'll show you what I got. Um, I spent probably a good 40 minutes in the store looking through everything they had. Um, I found, I'll, I'll get through this first, uh, I found some shirts for my 10 year old grand boy. This one is a size 16, it's from um, the children's place. Um, it, all of these things have been washed. It's a long sleeved t-shirt, he's not in a 16, he pretty much wears a 14, but this was, um, in perfect condition, as were all of these shirts. This one is uh, from the Children's Place also. This is a size 14, long sleeved dinosaur shirt in a um, kind of a, a dark royal blue. I'm gonna give the, I had to do this video because I'm, I wanna give these to him today. This is from Old Navy. This is a, uh, and it's an 18. It'll be too big for him, but I mean, he likes this stuff kind of big. Um, this is, uh, did I say Old Navy? Camo bottom and a gray uh, upper part and gray sleeves. The pocket on it. This is really nice and soft. These are all cotton. This one is a label of graded goods. Oh, this is H&M. And this is a size 1214 US. It's a heavier gauge of um, knit. And it says, choose your speed, the ultimate classic design. I don't know. There is a graphic on the front, short, short sleeves. And, okay, so those are all the t-shirts that I got for him. My younger grand boy needs no clothing because he gets everything that's passed down from Griffin and from his cousin, who is um, two years older than he is. So, but if I had seen something great, I certainly would have picked it up for him. But what I wanted to show you was the fabric. Um, the fabric came... There was some loose fabric that was hanging in the designated fabric department, which is so wonderful. But most of the fabric I almost passed by because it was in this big container and it was bagged up in clear plastic. All of the, most of the fabric was. And so it was a little bit hard to tell what was in there. You could see it, but you really didn't know how much and, and exactly, you couldn't touch it. 
um, and they were stapled together and they had a price on the outside. So I took a chance and I bought, I think there were three bags that I bought. I apologize, Skippy John is barking. He's in the garage, he's fine, he's eaten, he's gone out and he just wants to come inside and he's not coming in. Um, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, I think there were three, three of the bags. One was four fifty, one was four ninety eight, and one was um looks like one was eight ninety eight. I don't know what that was. Anyway, <clears throat> this fabric is a um a woven, I think all of the fabric is woven. This is a um maroon color and it feels so great. I think it's all cotton and it's a nice uh, tight weave. It's, um, it has a brushed feel to it. It's not a flannel, but it's just extra, extra smooth. And I think there are about three or four yards of this. I have not measured this. It's all been washed and everything, but there's a lot of this and it's a pretty color and um, it could be used for really anything. So I was happy to find that. This is just a piece of something. Um, it's a plaid and there's very little of it here. I could use it for a lining or even the outer piece of a bag. Um, I, I don't know if I can really do a whole bunch with that, but we'll see. There were a couple of smaller pieces. This is just um, almost a handkerchief weight piece of uh, white fabric. It too is all cotton. Um, this is really pretty. I'm just looking, there's a little hole right there. Um, just a strip here. Looks like somebody was trying to do something with it and didn't. So this would be great as a lining for a handbag or a pouch or something or trim or um, piping. This also is a smaller piece. This is, um, what do you call this? Like a, it's not a jacquard, um, but it's sort of uh, upholstery weight. This is uh, Lillian August Spectrum Fabrics exclusive screen print. Um, there's not, I'm showing you the wrong side. There's not a lot of it here. It's been um, cut into, um, but I can definitely uh, make use of this. This is, you know, I don't know. It, it looks like a satin and it has really big dots on it. And I have probably four yards of this. It's pretty heavy. Um, it certainly could be used as a lining. Um, you know, I don't know if you would want to use this as an outer garment because it would, the potential for it getting dirty is pretty high. But it's just, it's really, it's really nice. I had so much fun washing all this stuff and sorting through it, opening these bags to see what kind of a surprise I was going to have. Here's just another piece of the sort of the handkerchief kind of um, cotton. I have this uh, muslin kind of fabric here. I've got two pieces. Probably in total, it's about six yards. And um, don't know, I can use it as a muslin to make a muslin from. Or, um, I don't know what else. There's this little strip of pink dotted fabric. This is absolutely lovely. This is a black and white dotted fabric. And I think this is all cotton too. Um, Let's see if I can read anything. This is um, For Your Home by Vicki Payne. 
And there are, or there is, probably two yards of this. And it feels really nice. It's a good, tightly woven fabric. So um, this would be good for, it's a medium weight, not lightweight. I could do pants out of this or um, a shirt. I uh, don't know if there would be enough to get a simple dress out of. And let's see, there's just a couple of more, three more. This is really pretty. It's a bright summery fabric. There's probably a yard here. This is um, Michelle designed this exclusively for Hancock fabric, soil, and stain release finish. But it's, it's really pretty. Feels kind of canvassy. So, don't know what I can do with that. Here is another piece. This has been cut into, um, but there's still enough. This is a um, seersucker. Very pretty print. And this is, um, all it says is DSN number on the side. Um, so I don't know who the maker was on that. This is probably the prettiest print. Um, this is cut into pieces. This is so, so pretty. It looks sort of like a, um, sort of like a leaf print, but it also you know, looks like a water effect. Um, so this is probably a half a yard here. It's cotton. And another, half yard in this piece and looks like another half yard here so if somebody was going to do something with this in these um, increments and this is this is uh, Kathy Davis for West Minster Fibers and it's something journeys I can't read the the first word is cut off so um, it's just so, so pretty. Here's a short piece here, probably a half a yard of the stripy fabric. This is Inspiration's screen print. Um, if nothing else, I could probably make a kitchen towel out of this. I don't know. And then this, I really like this a lot. There is about a half a yard of this. It's quite wide. Um, there's a name for this. I can't think of it. It's all cotton. Um, it's a uh, pretty heavy weight, medium to heavy, heavy weight. And um, just a nice red stripe. So, oh, and uh, let me just show you some other stuff that I got as a that was also this was in a separate bag and I don't remember what I paid for this. I got gosh, I am such a hoarder. Oh well, I got some elastic too. It's a half inch, never used elastic. And I got two patterns. Their patterns were 75 cents each, up to I think a dollar fifty. I got this one, it was, um, this is a, a little girl's uh, dress or jumper and uh, blouse, uh, sizes four, five, and six. It was originally $2.50. It's not the most impressive um, outfit. Um, the line art is there, very simple looking. And uh, I don't know. It's uncut. And then I couldn't pass this one up. I don't know what she charged me for this. I hope she only charged me 75 cents. Um, let's see here. Um, you know what? I don't even see where, I don't even see where she charged me for the, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't even see the seventy-five cents on here. So uh, I don't know. This is. Um, I couldn't pass this up. This is a um, poodle skirt. It's just adorable. It's from McCall's Costumes collection, and it is. Um, looks like you get the applique too, and you get the underskirt too to make it puffy. And so this is uh, actually this is a child three four to five six, and that's cute as can be. I still don't know. Let's see. So there should have been a dollar fifty charge. If she rang it up right now, I don't know. I don't know how she. Um, I don't know how she did that. But the lace that I got is pretty remarkable. It's all bagged up separately, but it was in one big bag. Um, very pretty pink right there. Hey Georgia, are you helping me? Is Skippy John driving you crazy? Um, more lace, pink lace. More pink lace. Uh, peachy melon lace. Peachy melon lace. Peachy melon lace. Red and black. Pink. Blue, dark blue, dusty, dusty blue. There is a lot of blue in here. It's a mixture of different pieces of trim. Some more dusty blue. Gray. Interesting. This is off white and Georgia. It's an off white piece that looks like that. And, oh, there's a bunch in here. It's a, kind of a big piece here. And this is. Um, you know what? I've seen this. There's a tiny little piece of something. I don't know if that's usable. Um, what do you do with this? Um, it's a stretchy piece. I don't know. I don't know what it's used for. I've seen it before, but apparently um, I never had to use it for anything that I have made before. I just, you know, I just like touching and playing with all of this stuff. I think I have a problem. Two different kinds of red in here. Pink. This is really pretty. This is actually the first time I've sat down and looked at all of this stuff. Look at this, oh my gosh. This is cut into a couple of pieces. This is absolutely, this is a dark gray. It's cut into two pieces. So put together, this would be enough to do um, a hem. And so that's, that's really pretty, really. This this is um, this is cotton too. This is um, there's no polyester in that, and um, I think I just have one more to show you. Thank you for being patient. I like seeing all this kind of stuff when other people show it. So 
This is uh, this is polyester. This is an avocado, kind of a green color. Looks like there's quite a bit here. It's really pretty. So that's that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I just had a ball looking in there, and um, I don't know that there's a need to go back for. I will. It will take me a long time to use this fabric up. And um, I mean, my goal is to get rid of fabric. So this is just ridiculous. I'm a hoarder of fabric. It's, I need to go through some sort of a 12-step program, obviously. But um, I guess it's just hard to resist it. Uh, but anyway, I was going to say there's no need to go back to that store probably for three or four months to see if they've got new stuff in. But it was pretty heavily trafficked. And the clerk who checked me out told me that on the 15th of every month, everything in the store is either 20 or 25 percent off. So I'll have to remember that and hope that the, tw the 15th lands on a day that I don't have to work and I don't uh, have other plans. So we'll see. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing in this um, thrift store purchase. And I will see you shortly. Bye-bye.